Greetings, friend. Tim Lake here from Smart Hobbies, the channel that helps you transform a passing interest into a fun and enjoyable hobby. I'm doing a follow-up video from uh, one I did about a month ago on the book Taming the Sudoku Dragon by David Peru. Uh, he's also the guy who does a DX Sudoku um, channel. I highly recommend getting this book if you want to get better at Sudoku. What I thought I would do is show you how to solve one of the medium puzzles using the toolbox, the Sudoku toolbox that uh, David put in his book. As it says in the book, the Sudoku toolbox to the right of each puzzle is a list of puzzle solving techniques needed for solving the puzzle on the left. So what I did, and what you see here is medium puzzle number one. And the techniques, strategies that you need to solve it are naked single, hidden single, naked pair, locked candidates type one, which is a pointing pair, and naked triple. So what I thought I'd do is limit myself to solving this puzzle using just those techniques from the Sudoku toolbox. Now, you could look at this puzzle and you could find other techniques or strategies to solve it. You could probably do some more advanced ones, but they're not necessary. What I like about this toolbox is that it, if you're starting to learn and you want to learn new strategies, you could do a puzzle in here that has a strategy maybe pointing pairs not familiar to you. And you can find the puzzles that have pointing pairs and then look for them and try to solve them. So that's what I'm going to do here. And with that, it's, it's solving, solving time. time. Okay, since it's a medium level uh, and there's not going to be advanced strategies, uh, I'll just type in the candidates. I'm not going to start with the candidates filled in. That'll be overkill. You notice here with the ones, put one there and a one there. I'm using what's called Snyder rotation. Uh, so Snyder notation is if you have just two remaining in any house, so a row, column, or block, you want to mark that, and that will quickly help you identify where you need to put the rest of the numbers. All right, so look at row two, row two. Row two and row three, we have twos, so there must be a two right here. And if we come down, now you see in column four, column five, we have twos. And so the only place left for two here in block five is right here. So what you have is a naked pair. It's like we, we thought we'd have a naked pair. There's a naked pair. All right, moving on. Got the ones, got the twos. I'll continue looking for the areas for the twos. All right, two. Now also notice, look, there's a two and a three here in column seven, and two and three here in column eight, well, the only le places left for two and a three in block six are right there. So that's another uh, naked pair. Uh, those are the only two, that's the only places for two and three, so we can always mark those out. And that's going to help us with solving the rest of this puzzle. All right, where else are we going to look for with the threes? Uh, I'm kind of scanning. All right, there's two spots for three here in block one. Let's move on to the fours. Uh, there's not there's only two given fours in this puzzle. Three spots here for a four here in block five. Well, actually two spots. Because this one, two means you can't put the four there. So we'll mark that there for the four. Great. All right, let's look at the fives. Um, scanning across and down. And we'll notice this. Look, there's a five coming up here. And a five coming across row one and column six. So there's only two places left for a five right there. Well, now, since the fives are locked in right there, and that's the only place they can be in block two, then you can't have fives here. And you can't have five up here in block three because of the five that's already given in row one. So this is your pointing pair. That's your pointing pair right there of the fives. So we can mark these two spots. There's only two places left in block three for the fives. Now, if we come here for the six, you notice the six comes up column six, and there's only two places left for a six here in block two. So we're going to have ourselves here another uh, naked pair. But the other thing you'll see here is, look, here in column three, at six uh, comes up here. And then this, these sixes come across row two. So the only place left for sixes here in block one is in row three. So those are the only places for a six. So, uh, Basically, what you say is this can't be a six anymore. All right, so we have sixes, sixes. So then if we look here, the last two places left for a six in row one, then we'll be in these two spots because this is a pointing pair, and the six comes up here, and then these sixes are also like a like a pointing pair. Great. All right, moving on to sevens. Uh, seven in column five and column six. So we'll put a seven here and here. Uh, seven in column two and column three. So I'll put the sevens in block 
7 right there and see if there's anything else I can do with the 7s nope that's it for the 7s let's look at the 8s okay so we have an 8 in column 2 column 3 row 4 row 6 so this has to be an 8 and then we have eights here in column seven and nine and row one so these have to be eights okay um, and now let's look here what's left in column six all right so you see one two three uh we're missing a four and an eight so this is going to be another naked pair of four and an eight so we know that four and have to be in these two spots one and two have to be in these two spots well that means the only place uh they only have one candidate missing so that's going to be a uh, naked single, and it's going to be a nine. Because that's the nine. That's the only place we can put a nine in that whole uh, column. Great. So that's why it's helpful to put in those candidates. All right, nine in row seven and row eight. We have a nine here in column two. So we're going to restrict the nines to these two spots in block seven. And we have a nine in column four and column six and below, row six. So we're going to restrict the nines to here in block five and I, th I think that's what I can do for the nines um, there might be uh, you know a few other things so I'm kind of look around here and see if there's some other uh, candidates to solve uh, one thing you'll notice here is like where can a two go in row six well a two can't be here because of this two it can't be here because of the two it can't be here it can't be here. So this is the last place left for a two in row six. So that's two. That's gonna be it's kinda that's gonna be a hidden single so two. Alright, does that help us solve any more? Nope. I think these other twos, it's gonna be a little while before we can solve those. Alright, but that's being helpful. But now we have a six here in column three, a six in row four. So the last place left for six in block four is right there. And since now these sixes are pointing at six in column three, that six in column two. That means that the only place left in block one for six is right there. Great. All right, we are making some good progress here. Okay, what else can I solve for? So looking here, or actually, let's go across. Now, when you get to this point, now you're going to try to look for the rows, blocks, uh, Columns where there's a, mo a lot of candidates filled in, and see if you can, you know, get down to pairs or maybe the triples. We know there's supposed to be a naked triple in here somewhere, and then see if we can solve that way. All right, Let's see here nine, nine. I'm looking at the nines right now. I'm um, looking at the twos, I'm looking at the sixes. Okay, so we sixes are limited to two spots. I'll mark that. And so you know, you know there's the six can be in two spots here in column seven, and the six can be in two spots in column nine. Uh, uh, eight, column four. Eight comes down in column four, eight in row nine, so this has to be an eight. Okay, now check out the three here. The three cuts across row nine. Well, there's only two places left for a three here, block eight, so that's three. And that's going to be a, actually another pointing pair. So these can't be a three, because this is the only place for a three in block eight is in column uh, four. So that, so that it'll have to be here in block eight. So these can't be threes, which means... And we know the threes can't be here, so that means that the threes will be limited to these three spots. So that's good for us to know. Uh, what's, other, what's also left in here is a three, four, and a six. I'm not, not going to mark that uh, just yet. And let's look. What could be here in block four? A one, a three, or a five. And we can't really eliminate that any further. What? You know, I will mark it as a kind of a naked triple, one, three, five. 
just so I know what's going to be in those spots. All right. And moving on, I can mark these this 3, 4, and the 6, like I noticed before. 3, 4, that 6 is already right there, and that 3 is already right there, so this is going to be a 4 and a 6. And let's look here. At the force, and what I wanted to point out now is you know, I'm looking for some limitations here, right? I'm looking for limitations where items can be. Let's look across row four. One, three, and a five. What can be right here? Let's see here. One, a five, just a one and a five. So we'll mark that as just a one and a five. These are, you know, this is like I could buy a value cell. And so that's going to help me solve a little better. Um, I, think, I think we also notice is that there's just a 1 and a 5 right there. That might help us a little bit later here. Let's look down here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 5, 7. Looks like a 1, 5, 7, and a 1, 5. Okay. What's going to be right here? 1, 2, 3, can be a 4, 5. It can be a six or a seven, okay. And this can be a one, five or seven, six or seven, a one, five or seven. But none of those can be nines. And so what we'll notice is that where can a nine be here in block six? Well, a nine can't be in column seven because there's a nine right here. It can't be right here. It can't be in row six, so this has to be a nine. And sorry about that, I was a little slow there. All right, all right, so this is gonna help us out because I think another thing I'm noticing here, one, two, and three, this spot can be a four, can't be a five, can't be a six, it can be a seven, a four and a seven. Uh, it can't be an eight or a nine. Let's come down here, look at this, one, five, eight, nine, five, Eight, nine, a lot of the same candidates. So what can be right here? A one, can that be a one, two or three? It can be a four, five or six. It can be a seven, uh, it can't be an eight or nine. So what we have here, this four, seven is also a naked pair. And so if that's a naked pair, then we know this, the remaining three candidates in column eight, is gonna be a one, a five and eight. Well, we know that can't be a five because of those fives. So that's gonna be a one, eight. It's gonna be a one, five and eight. And right here can be a one and a five. Well, check this out. One eight, those are the only two candidates that can be there. One five eight, and one five. That's that's your naked triple. But this is also a naked triple. We've figured out this spot too. So we have a one five eight naked triple there as well, and we have a one five naked pair. Well, this is one five naked pair, and this two three naked pair means we can solve the last remaining cell in block six. So that has to be. A seven. Nice. So we're able to solve for that seven. We got this one five one five. We got this one five eight. So now we can look and figure out the remaining candidates here in like yeah. Actually let's Let's go a little step further here. So yeah, what's the remaining candidates that can be here in block three? We can have, uh, it can't be, you know, one, two, three, it can be a four, it can be a six, and it can't be a nine. So four, six, okay. This could be four, seven, I already figured that one out. And this can't be a four, it can be a six, a seven, or nine, okay. 
And then this one can be what? Uh, also, can't be a 4 or a 7, so it's going to be a 6 and a 9. Okay. And then come down here. What can we figure out here? So it can't be 2, 3, 4, or an 8. Can't be a 1 or a 5. That's going to be a 6 and a 7. Well, guess what we have here? 6, 7, 9, 6, 9, and 6, 7. That's another naked triple. And so we know that this it can't be a 2 or 3, 6, 7, or 9. We know this block right here can only be a 1 or a 5. So that 1 and 5 is what has to be right there. Very interesting. But now we've, we've kind of solved some more naked triples, and that's really helping us get to the bottom of this puzzle. Okay, and now what you'll notice is now the sevens are locked here since there's a seven in column seven and a, uh, and the, the seven in row nine. There's, the sevens are locked up high uh, in block nine. They're locked into row seven. So, so these sevens mean that there cannot be a seven right there. This has to be the seven. So we did all that work to figure out this. So this is like another pointing pair of sevens. Okay. Well, we're actually making some, some really good progress here. So, where do we go from here? Well, 7 in column 5, 7 in column 6, 7 cutting across for 5. We'll know that, that that has to be a 7. And then we'll just leave the last two 7s for now. But now, you know, let's kind of regather ourselves here and go, what else can we solve? Uh, we can solve for nines. Okay, there's a nine across row five and six, and I call them six, so that has to be a nine. Great. And then, what's, what's the next thing that we can solve? We solve some nines, we solve some sevens. We know. You know, this has to be a 1 or 3 or 5, because that's the only thing that's left in this. Oh, so it can't be a 1, so it's got to be, it can be a 3 or a 5. I'll mark that down. Uh, and we know this 1, 2, it can't be a 1 or 2, so it has to be a 3, 4, or 5. So this could be a 3. Oh, it can't be a 3, remember, because of this. these 3 is a pointing pair. So it can be a 4 or 5 there. And then it can be... A three, four, or five right there. Okay. Uh, I thought I'd be able to solve some. Oh, but you know, if we look up, up here, this five, six is a pointing pair. That six actually is already solved. We can solve that for a nine. Great. And then a nine in row two and nine in row three makes this a nine. I wonder how long you guys saw that, that that six nine was actually going to be a nine, a solved nine. Probably screaming at me. All right, nine in column two and three, and a nine in row seven means that this has to be a nine, and we solved all the nines. Awesome. All right, where do we go from there? We solved all the nines. We have four, six, and seven left on the top of row one here in block one. Okay. What do we have left here? There's only two spots left. This can't be a one, so this has to be the one. Whoops. That's a one, and if you remember, then this has this is going to be the three. That's a one. That's a three. What's the remaining digit? It's a four. And now we have four in columns one and two. Makes this a four. Yay! And then since that was the one, let's finish off column one. What's the remaining digit? It's a three. And then we have a three in row seven, three in row nine, gives that a three. So we know that this has to be a four, six naked pair. But it can't be a four because there's a four right there. So that's a six. That's a four. Uh, the only place left for a three in block four is right there. So that's got to be your three. And we come across and we make these marks way at the beginning. So that's a two, that's a three. This is going to be a 1, that's a 5. You see how it erases the candidates if it can't be a logical candidate anymore. Now that's a 1. And so this has to be 8, that's a 5, that's a 1. 
This is an eight. Okay, we got four, five, and six. So four, the five, and the six. And you can you can scan through and notice, hey, that's, that's a, these are all naked singles now. One, the five, the only left in row six. There's a three. Okay, we come down here. This is only it can be a five, right there. It's going to be a seven because we solved that four. There's our four, six, seven, six. All right, and what we have left here is only one spot left. So you scan across and go, oh, that's got to be a two. And then we're still missing a one and a five. There's our five. So, you know, that's the five. You know, that's the one. And scan across. Still don't have a one here. And what's the remaining digit? It's a four. Sudoku solved. Okay, how'd you do? Let me know in the comments below. I kind of went a little slow there. I wanted to show you how the toolbox worked. And you notice we limited it to just those naked triples, point pairs, the uh, naked singles, hidden singles. And we, and we were able to solve this puzzle. So give it a try. Um, I, hopefully the toolbox will work really well for you. Uh, I plan on doing future videos where I might do more medium puzzles, but I might move on to the harder puzzles because it gets really exciting once you can start honing in on those advanced techniques and strategies. Thanks again. Please check out Taming the Sudoku Dragon. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.